All right, guys, well, welcome back. Now, today we are jumping into some technical training with a Kajabi tutorial on how you would set up offers inside of your Kajabi account that you haven't connected to a product, okay, like to a course or to a membership. And inside of the Kajabi verse, that's what we call ghost offers. Now, why would you want to do this? All right, three scenarios for you. Perhaps you're going to be doing something like selling one-on-one -on -one coaching and you want to take the money in through Kajabi, but there's no course or product attached, okay? Once people purchase the one-on-one -on -one coaching, you're just going to send them out by email a link to your calendar. The second scenario you might consider is something like digital products, okay? If you're going to be selling an ebook or a bundle of templates and delivering it somewhere like Google Drive, then again, people can purchase through Kajabi and you send out an automated email, okay, not manual, an automated email that tells them where they need to go to access those downloads. But again, there's no course and no product attached. And then the third instance where it might come up, I'm sure there's many more, but the third that I'm going to give you today is something like a recorded workshop or even a replay from a workshop that you've run for members. Now, when you take a recorded workshop and you go and put it on a landing page, perhaps all you need to do is send an email out that has a link to the landing page, and then that's not going to take up a course or a product in your account. Many of you guys are going to be working with a Kajabi basic plan, and the basic plan only enables you to create three products. Now, it can be very, very easy to max out those three products. So I wanted to show you this training today so that you can work around that limitation and create endless number of offers inside of your Kajabi account for things that aren't directly related to courses and memberships. Okay, so on that note, let's jump over into my Kajabi account and I'll take you step by step through how it's done. Okay, so the very first step is you're going to come into your Kajabi account, into marketing, into email campaigns, and click up here on new email campaign. Now, rather than it being a one-off email broadcast, you're going to need to select sequence, and the title will be whatever you want to call the delivery of this offer. Now, the email sequence, I've already got it set up here is probably just going to have a single email in it. You can see there, I've got it set to go immediately. Now, in order for that email to go immediately, you need to make sure that it is showing as day zero here. The default is day one, okay? So make sure you switch it to day zero. And then inside of this email is going to be however you want people to redeem this thing that they are purchasing from you. Now, once you have got that email sequence, set up, you will go over into the offers area of your account. Step two is going to be that you come into sales, into offers, and you create yourself a brand new ghost offer, okay, with whatever whatever title you want to give the, the thing that people are purchasing. So we come up here to new offer, and you'll give it a name. I'm just going to call mine ghost offer. And you would say that there are no products to connect, okay, which is absolutely fine with a ghost offer. And then we would come down to continue. And you would decide on the price. You would connect your payment providers. And then you would save and finish. Okay, now I have already got one. So let me go back over to where I was. All right, so once you have set up that sort of shell of your ghost offer, down here, the first bit is going to be products in this offer, okay? So it's absolutely fine to leave this area completely empty. A couple of important things to note, though, about the post-purchase area, because it's going to default to the member's product library, which means that after somebody purchases your offer, they're then going to go through to the library, and that library is going to be empty, okay? There's not going to be any course for them to see, any membership for them to access, so that can be a little bit confusing. So I would suggest that you change product library to landing page, and that you create in your account a nice looking landing page that confirms their purchase and tells them how to access it. Okay, so once you've got that landing page connected, uh, created, you can connect it inside of this field here. Okay, it'll just show up for you in the drop down here once you've created that page. So do that, okay, because the default is library and that is confusing. Then we come down into the post purchase email section. 
Another confusing element here, okay, because the default email is going to prompt people to log in. And if they go and log into their account, again, they're going to see an empty library, which is a little bit confusing. So I would swap it to custom email and just write something here that, you know, just a, a custom message that confirms their purchase. Okay, the nice email that confirms their purchase is going to be what we set up in step one over inside of the marketing area. Okay, so this is like a secondary email that just goes out to confirm that their purchase was successful. All right, so then we come down here a little bit further. Most important part that you need to worry about is the automations area of this offer set up, okay? Because what we need to do is we need to connect the email that you set up in step one, that email sequence with this offer. Otherwise, people will purchase and they won't get added to the email sequence, all right? So down here, add automation, and you're going to add at least one automation, maybe two, but at least one that says when the offer is purchased, then subscribe them to that email sequence that we created inside of step one. It's like this, okay? Now, if I come up here and save, and I come back to that email sequence, then you're going to see that we have now got one subscribe trigger showing inside of this email sequence, okay? So we have now connected, I can expand it here, we've now connected the offer to this email sequence so that people actually receive this email after they buy the thing, okay? And inside of here, you could have a link to your Calendly, a link to a landing page, a link to download whatever it is that they have bought. Okay, so we've done step one, we've done step two, you've got your email sequence that delivers it, you've got your offer set up. Now you will need to go in and edit the checkout. We're not gonna spend a lot of time with that today, but if I go over to the checkout, there's something that I wanted to mention to you. Now here, you'll see that the default with Kajabi checkouts is that people get the option to subscribe to your email list. Now pretty much no one is going to say yes to that. So what I like to do is have it hidden for people who are purchasing paid offers, which means that if they buy something from me, they're automatically added to the email list, which means that they'll automatically get that email that you set up in step one. Okay, if you give people the option to subscribe to your email list and they don't say yes, then they won't get the email that you set up in step one, okay? And that's going to lead to probably some customer service uh, follow-up actions that happen from your buyers. All right, so how do we hide this checkbox? What you need to do is go over to your checkout settings, so over here, and into your settings, okay, bottom left. You take you right back to where you get into it. You're going to find checkout settings here. And then this first section is email opt-in. And if you want people to automatically get added to your email list when they purchase a paid offer, now it doesn't work on free, only works on paid, then you would check this box. You'd say, yes, I understand the risks. So what they're talking to you here about is GDPR compliance. Um, for me, I always have it set like this, but what I do like to do is let people know inside of the checkout that they are being added to the email list. So if I save this, when we come back over to the offer, if I refresh, you'll see that the checkbox has now disappeared, okay? They're automatically being added to the email list as a subscriber, okay? But what I want to do is let them know that that's happening. So inside of additional settings, I would under service agreement, switch on the custom service agreement. And then I like to write something like what I've written here. I understand that I'll be added to the email list of Meg Burridge, whatever your business name is, for the purpose of communicating with me on this purchase and that I can unsubscribe at any time. Okay, so if you add something like that and save it, a different checkbox now appears, but this one is mandatory. So they're not going to be able to check out until they've checked that box and you're notifying them at that point that they are going onto your email list as a subscriber. Okay, so they are all the steps. You've got your email sequence set up. Then you're going to have the offer. You're going to have to set up the checkout. You'll need to switch on, I think, this checkout setting so that people get added to your email list. And don't forget over inside of that offer that you set up an automation down here 
that is connecting people who have purchased this offer through to that delivery email sequence so that they get notified on how they can redeem whatever it is they've just purchased from you. Okay, guys, there you have it, a little training workaround on how you can get past that product limitation inside of your Kajabi account and put a paywall in place for all sorts of offers, even if it's not directly related to a course or a membership. Now, if you haven't gotten started with Kajabi as yet and you would like to, please feel free to use my partner link. It's going to give you an extended 30-day trial. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but 30 days is plenty of time to jump in there and see whether or not Kajabi is right for your needs. It also comes with over $1,800 worth of included bonuses that I know are going to help you hit the ground running. If you enjoyed this video today, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'd also love it if you would leave a comment and I will see you for all our next tips and tricks on how to get set up, seen and selling 